what I think people ought to take away from this session um, is that there's a whole kind of world of um, uh, understanding around what cash is as an instrument and if you're pumping this financial instrument into a leaking bucket um, quite often you're, you're not actually building economies and the, the type of cash that's being introduced in these cases um, is extremely exogenous and the nature of cash itself is something that communities ought to be able to create themselves and so we're really sort of trying to advocate this idea of, of localized cash and that brings in this idea of you know how do local actors really take part in these things well the the idea is that local communities are able to create their own cash systems and that CVA um, activities can actually promote and help you know govern that and, and strengthen those local cash systems. So there's a whole host of local actors that are already managing cash in different ways and, and generally those are things like microfinance, VSLAs, uh, Chamas, tabletop banks, uh, silk groups and giving those groups the tools to do what you know, uh, what we want is providing liquidity, providing cash in times of need is something that they, they already have most of the tools to do those things. And so building up that tool set for local communities to engage in their own communities, create their own cash systems that are backed by reserves, uh, insurances, I mean, those are all things that we could be doing in the CVA realm. Um, and so I'd like to see a lot more of that going on and a lot more of uh, engagement with um, uh, insurance companies and um, you know coming in and saying how do we make responsible cash in a, in a, in a disaster area or a chronic uh, a food security area um, and so I'm hoping that that's that will reach into the future of what CBA does.